Yo guys, so I found something pretty cool. There is a software called Topaz Video AI. It's basically a AI video enhancer. It can like, it can like uh, make the resolution just better through AI, it's crazy. I actually just saw like an advert come up on my phone for this software and uh, it was showing you how like good it is, showing you like how you can make the resolution better. It's basically just faking the resolution. I don't even know how it does it. It's crazy. So if you want a download for this, it's going to be in the description. Uh, it's on this website called Get Into PC. Follow the tutorial, just install it. You'll need to turn off your Windows Defender for it because it says it's a virus, but it's, it's actually not. I, I mean, I have it and I downloaded it and it's not a virus. So it's completely legal, right? <laughs> All right you didn't hear it from me, right? <laughs> okay. If you want to pay £400 for this software, you can go ahead. Most of us just don't have that money to drop on an AI software. Like. So what you want to do is you just want to drag your clip in just put it here once you've got it the software download and everything and it'll come up like this as you can see you know classic uh, VX footage with like using the immersion RC not the greatest way to uh, <laughs> to capture it. I mean the tape is the best way so what you want to do first if you want to make it 4k uh, you go over here put it to oh no that's 8k I haven't I haven't actually tried that yet change it to whatever FPS you want I guess that's fine 50 frames per second this is the enhancement so it's gonna make the footage clearer uh, the AI is gonna make it like look really good it can if um, what I actually do is I put this up to 50 I'll show you afterwards but we'll keep it on 20 for now I'll show you what it does it kind of makes the image look a bit fake for some reason. It makes it look like everything's been painted over. It's strange. So if you've got a graphics card in your computer, it is very helpful. I'm just going to put it on NVIDIA because I got a graphics card on my laptop. If you don't have a graphics card for your computer, I, I recommend buying one. Especially for video editing, it, it helps out so much. Quality level, put that on high. Audio mode, just put it on copy and then mp4 and then you're all good um, to make the clip to renders out longer uh, put it on 30 or 29 or wherever it was so this is the clip um, I'll just play it through real quick it's just a little kick flip and then a 50 that was really bad filming but it's years ago <laughs> yeah pretty sweet nice one Kieran so now if I press so I go back to the start if I press preview it's gonna do it's gonna do it it's gonna make do the magic right when I first experienced it today, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, like, look at this. This is crazy. AI has just... Do you, do you see the difference? This is all smooth now. Well, I guess it's kind of looks smooth there, but like... I mean, this lady's got no face, though. <laughs> terrifying you know what so you can see what i mean now how it's uh oh yeah by the way it takes a little while to render it especially if you don't have a graphics card like i can imagine this is going to take ages it just looks a bit funny that's why i put recover original detail i put it up to 50 so while it's rendering out i'll just say like i just haven't been uploading for a while i just haven't like wanted to for some reason i just couldn't think of video ideas i just didn't feel the motivation to make videos but i don't know i just found my passion within making videos and stuff again i think i've been editing a lot recently i've always done youtube since a young age so i can't i can't ever give it up I, there's a part of me that just can't give it up you know i just had to take a break for a while i had to go enjoy life sometimes you've got to step back from the things you like doing to come back at them even better but yeah 2024 it's going to be good if you have any suggestions for making videos, please let me know in the in the uh, comments. I can do some uh, editing tutorials or something like that, or I'm going to do some more camera videos again. Okay, so it's rendered out. Let's give it a little play. I don't know why it does this when you play it. It goes in slow motion, but the um, I'll just scrub for it real quick. I'll just put it here. So you can see here, like, it does this weird... <laughs> Where's this face gone? <laughs> I guess you couldn't really see it there anyway. So it does this weird thing with like the trees for some reason. It's like you can see here. I mean, it's like a night and day difference. You know, it looks way smoother. It just looks crisper. I don't know. To me, it looks a lot better. I still like this one though. But for some reason, this one just like is satisfying to look at. So just look at here, for example, like look at the rail 
it's just all smooth it almost looks too smooth though that's why that's why i would turn it up to 50 on here i'll just do a little example here so this is now on uh, 50 it's just paused if i play it it will lag out on my computer so this is just on 50 you can see the effect is not as much oh what the hell was happening so you can see it hasn't overdone it with the ai it's just made it look a bit smoother and clearer so yes yeah, so i think this looks a lot better i mean i kind of like how grainy and rough this looks as well So again, we just want to drag it in. You get the clip um, over here, put it to 4K. I mean, you can do 1080 if you want. I'm just doing 4K because this time I'm going to put it to 50 because, I mean, you can do more if you want it to look more like uh, blended in and realistic. Go down here, select whatever, high. I, mean, I haven't tried this yet, target bitrate. I'm just leaving that. I'm just going to trim the clip here because you don't need any of that extra bit. So the clip is done rendering with click play. As you can see, it's a lot smoother again. I mean, it's a night and day difference between the clips, you know. It kind of does just make everything look a bit weird though. So I'm just not really sure about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I personally don't know if I'm gonna use this. I mean, maybe it would be better if, you know, it was like a bit higher, maybe 75 or something. So just so it looks a bit more natural, but to me, it just, uh, it looks a bit funny. You can't even see his, I guess he, he was just pixels before, but now he's a blur. So once you get the clip, you know, you can uh, you just press export and then it will take a while. Once it's done rendering, I just go uh, show and explore. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. Try this software out for yourself. I mean, it does seem like it can help, especially if you use one of these immersion RCs and it doesn't have a, like the best quality, you know, <laughs> pixels. I think this software is definitely worthwhile using. But yeah, let me know what you think and uh, check out my other videos and my edits. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.